Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So we've got some awesome updates here to forms and surveys. So we have the address autocomplete and mandatory search bar features are live. So first up, um, you can see right here um, with address autocomplete, you can also then turn on right here, mandatory search bar. So this is the idea that let's say you have address autocomplete on and someone's type it away and they decide, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna ignore that autocomplete. I'm just gonna type in my own address. Well, guess what? Now you can say, nope, sorry, you have to use the autocomplete to actually choose your address. And this is really important when you're saying, look, we really need to make sure that we can get this address very, very correct, very accurate, and making sure we're using the Google Maps API to do that. Um, so that is a really cool uh, thing to turn on here. Also, seamless address um, auto uh, population here is now available. Uh, and so what you can do is if you want, you can actually, you actually hide all of these sub fields here. They can just pick their address. Uh, with the mandatory search bar and then all of these fields will automatically get filled um, and reflected on the back end all broken nicely into the component parts that you need but the user will just see it as one uh, seamless address here in the bar which is very cool um, so you can see right here like only the search bar gets populated um, obviously there's a couple of things going on here so you can you can kind of choose to have it any way you want um, this just basically um, you can see right here when the submission comes in it'll actually split out uh, and that's funny, actually, because they, 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 <laughs> there is a city in Alberta called High Level that somebody uh, found all of this uh, screenshot. So you can kind of see here, or you can obviously uh, come in here and you can show the field. So you kind of have a choice on how you want to do this. But either way, it gives you a lot of flexibility in how you're designing both your forms and your survey. So anyways, when you get a chance, take a look at this. Uh, as always, um, love the feedback. Um, there is a help doc on this. So go to help.gohighlevel.com. Uh, and then just search um, autocomplete address and you can't miss it. Um, on that note, I hope you're having an amazing Monday and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.